Hello viewers, today I will show you how to repair the TV mainboard and watch this video first before you make decision to replace the TV mainboard. Here is the basic information for the troubleshoot TV and actually this information and knowledge you must know before you starting to repair the TV. And if not, you will not sure where to troubleshoot the TV first. Before we start, please keep in touch with our channel by subscribing and like and share this video with your friends so they can take benefit from this channel. The TV mainboard is the second expensive parts of the television. Especially, it is a smart TV mainboard. Compared to the older LCD or LED TV, old version TV, their mainboard is more durable than the latest smart TV mainboard. And this is because of the new features added in the mainboard. For example, network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3D and etc. Not only that, the new design technology for the TV mainboard is more complex and where they need to put all the new feature inside the PCB board, some TV mainboard also built in the power supply board and TCON section and PCB board. PCB board means the TV mainboard size become small than the compared to the old TV mainboard. So the latest model TV has lots of the problem in the TV mainboard now and it is nearly some problem percentage with the TV power supply and the backlight now. In this video, I will try to list out most of the mainboard problem and their checking method and solution to let the TV repairer save time and solve the TV mainboard. Before show the TV mainboard problem and solution, the very first step is isolating the TV problem first. For example, power supply unit self test method, backlight tester, LCD or LED TV type, TV mainboard output video tester, LVDS panel tester and more tools or tester can help to isolate the LCD or LED TV problem is acceptable. So with the above tools and the method to help the repair to isolate the TV problem first and easily without the guess job. The repairer will know that problem is in which part or board is defective and and do the components level repair in this board or just the replace the defective board when the customer is urgent need the TV. And here is the common fault of the LCD or LED TV mainboard and their repairer ideas. Our first problem is TV no power. Front indicator light is off, no sound, no display. So we have to first check their PSU has output voltage or not. If totally no voltage output, try to disconnect the connector from the main board and check the PSU standby voltage 3.3 volt or 5 volt output is appear or not. If no standby voltage output, then it is the PSU board problem and not the main board. If the PSU has standby voltage output is 3.3 volt or 5 volt, but no power on signal sometimes it shows the pwr on and output signal from the tv mainboard then it should be the mainboard problem but before confirming it is the tv mainboard make sure to check the front panel keypad and the remote control first if both also cannot power on the tv then it is confirmed that the tv mainboard is defective and for this type of the tv mainboard problem we need to check and tracing the corresponding components from the standby voltage line and to their MCU or main chip. Latest model TV is using the main chip or CPU MCU built in. Normally, it is their LDOIC DCC IC register circuit loop holes the problem. First, if their TV mainboard LDO or DCC circuit can output the normal and steady voltage 5 volt 3.3 volt 2.5 volt 1.8 volt and 1.26 volt then you need to check the cpu reset circuit or crystal circuit secondly if the above all normal please check the data bus lines of the sda and the scl in mainboard normally it is connected by cpu flash memory tuner audio ic and etc. Make sure these two lines are not shorted by the components connected in these two lines. Thirdly, follow by checking their DDR RAM and the flash memory, especially the voltage supply and the DDR RAM make sure it is normal and stable. Also reference voltage 
VREF of the DDR RAM and the first generation voltage supply 2.5 volt VREF 1.25 volt and second generation VCC 1.8 volt VREF 0.9 volt third generation VCC 1.5 volt VREF 0.75 volt and most of the second and the third generation of the DDR RAM is using the BGA type package. After that checking their SMD network registers in between the DDR RAM and the CPU is ok. Most of the time the register ohm values out open or their loopholes leakage or open will causing the TV cannot power on or the DDR RAM DDR RAM can feel very hot on their surface and then it may be the DDR RAM defective. Number 4. Flash memory problem could be their firmware or the memory IC itself defective. And in the some smart TV mainboard the firmware is divided into their two types. One is the bootable firmware called it is the boat loader and this boat firmware normally is stored in the 25xx serial flash memory IC and another is the main firmware normally it stored in the NAND flash or the EMC flash memory. If suspect their boat loader problem try to upgrade their boat firmware and see how the result or use the universal programmer to reprogram their bootloader flash memory with a good firmware. Also make sure the backup the original firmware first before doing any read or write flash memory IC. Highly recommended replacing the serial flash memory IC and if found their firmware problem or even the reprogramming the firmware is still not help then you need to replace the good serial flash memory IC or write back their firmware. Some of the TV mainboard their bootloader firmware was built in their big flash memory for example EMMC flash memory IC. Number 5. Finally, if all the above method also not work and that mean their main chip CPU is defective, normally the CPU is standby mode. Their CPU surface will be failing to beat warm after the TV startup. It will feel hotter. If the TV is in the standby mode, the CPU surface feeling temperature increase suddenly or quickly, that means the CPU could be shortened. If the TV is standby mode but their CPU on, CPU no any temperature different on their surface compared the CPU temperature before and after the power on mainboard. That means the CPU could be dry joint inside the CPU pins BGA type. Actually quite lots of the dry joint or the cold shouldering points problem occur in the TV mainboard CPU these days. Also can try to impact some pressures on the surface of the CPU and then power on the TV mainboard see any different or not. If yes then try to reshouldering or rehotting the reboiling the CPU IC or the BGA type. And then also don't forget to check the front keypad and the IR infrared circuit to the MCU or the main chip CPU corresponding the components or their loopholes. For leakage or open circuit, even this problem is seldom occurred but it can happen too. So viewers, hopefully this video will help you to resolve the problem on your LED or LCD TV. If any difficulties, please feel free to inform us by comments in below and if you have any best ideas, kindly share with us. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video with your friends. And thank you very much for watching this video again.